Hey guys, how are you? Uh, my name is Jed, and uh, I am a, uh, I guess, an intent parent here uh, with Proud Fertility. Um, I'm from Toronto. I uh, pretty much started the journey, I guess, almost a year and a half ago in November 2017. Um, I remember my first, first call was Nathan. Uh, it was really overwhelming. It was a lot of information, especially uh, for me as a single, uh, single um, uh, intended parent. Uh, just uh, it was really challenging, you know, looking for the right agency to work with, and also getting the right information. Um, it's a huge decision for anyone, for couples, for a single person, for 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 families. Uh, so it was a lot to think about. Um, after a few conversations and a few emails uh, back and forth, uh, but I've decided to go with uh, Nathan. And um, uh, so far, uh, things are going really well for us. Um, the reason I wanted to become a dad is because uh, since I turned 30, I guess, um, I just had this feeling, this urge inside of me, um, wanting to become a parent, wanting to father a child, I guess. Um, uh, uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little unconventional because as a single person, uh, you don't see a lot of, uh, especially men, you don't see a lot of men going through the same route. So it's difficult to get uh, information or just to talk to people in similar situations. I'm so glad uh, Nathan understands my situation and he's helping me with every, uh, with every decision uh, along this process. Um, the journey I have so far has been, uh, it's a little bumpy, but, um, you know, overall, I, I, I would say it's, uh, it's pretty satisfactory. Um, it took me a while to find the, uh, the egg donor. Uh, Nathan sent me a lot of options and we eventually, uh, d uh decided to go with, uh, with, with someone that I really like. Um, communication was very efficient. Uh, the process was easy to understand. Uh, Nathan showed me a ton of profiles, so that's good. Uh, he he has a lot of resources that you can you as a as a I guess in, intended parent can depend him on a lot of uh, 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 these uh, resources. Um, and tell us about your uh, surrogacy journey. So, well, surrogacy journey has been, um, I guess, uh, you know. A little bit unexpected in the sense that um, I was expecting, uh, you know, to stay somewhat anonymous with a surrogate mother, and you know, you know, much to my surprise, Laura has been one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met in my life. Uh, we pretty much talk every day. Um, we communicate on a daily basis. We exchange ideas. She'll send me pictures. I'll let her know what I'm working on. And, um, you know, I actually just went to St. John's New Brunswick where the surrogate mother lives. Uh, and we went for our 20 week ultrasound. Um, and we find out we're having a girl. So um, uh, I'm really, really happy with Laura because uh, she's one of the sweetest persons I've ever met in my life. I, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, not just not just in terms of uh, you know uh, caring the child. She's you can tell she's like a very very caring person as well. She she genuinely cares about the well being of of the baby inside her, and she understands my situation. She offers to help. Um, you know, we're 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 we're, uh, we're working out some last minute logistics because I am actually moving to New Brunswick, St. John, uh, in summer for a few months uh, for the birth of the baby. So um, I'm really happy that you know me and Laura just hit it off. Everything's going really well. Um, I think that uh, uh, we will probably keep in touch. We're definitely keeping in touch even after the birth. Um, she used to, for, you know, for the last couple of months, she's become she's she, she you know she's become part of the family now, and uh, um, I think. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's that tie she has with with my child will always be there, and I want my daughter to uh, to get to know Laura. So that's my take on uh, my surrogacy experience. Um, uh, I'm expecting we are expecting a girl. I'm extremely happy having a little girl. I haven't really got the time to. Um, uh, 
thinking about, I guess, to start thinking about the names and, uh, you know, you know, buying diapers and all that stuff. But, um, you know, my family is helping out with me uh, in terms of, uh, you know, get, getting the, the sensitivities for the baby. So I'm really happy. Uh, I have a lot of support, a lot of, a lot of assistance from my family and friends. Uh, okay. All right, this whole Facebook Live thing is uh, relatively new to me. Let me find this here. Um, hey, April, how are you? Yeah. Um, do you guys have any questions? Um, I think I pretty much covered everything on the list. Um, but I can answer. I think everyone has uh, everyone has their own uh, different situation. You know, you all you all have your own unique. Uh, issues to deal with in my situation in the beginning it was because i feel like being single puts me in a very disadvantageous position that's why i'm really 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 happy with what nathan's done for me um and i want to tell a lot of other uh single uh single parents want to be uh single you know single guys or single girls out there that you know uh the service the service provided by proud fertility um, really helps, you know, uh, especially Nason. He's always there. He's so hands-on. Um, he's literally one email or one text message away uh, in a lot of situations. Like whenever I'm getting nervous about the uh, the surrogacy procedure or about the, uh, like, the egg donor, have questions about the egg donor, you know, he will find a way. And maybe he doesn't have the answer now, but he will find a way to give you the answer to make you feel comfortable, to put you at ease. That's the part that I really, really appreciate. And I have been promoting, uh, talking to my friends about proud, proud uh, fertility. Uh, because I genuinely believe believe in the service Nathan had, Nathan's offering, and I think um, more people should benefit from this. You know, if if they have the means. Uh, the the process in terms of uh, in terms of the cost associated with the process, I think it, Nathan can probably better speak to it. But in my case, um, um, I guess it's it's pretty normal. It's uh, it's probably better than I, than, than I expected. And I think partially is because I live in Canada. Uh, Laura also lives in Canada, so it's easier for us to um, arrange uh, things. And uh, from a medical standpoint, because we have uh, universal health care, that also saves a lot of money. Um, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, what your ethnicity is, what your sexual orientation is. I think when it comes to becoming an intended parent, we're all, it's a level playing field for everyone. I think, you know, you talk to, uh, 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 you're, you have the same resources other people have, other couples have. And when it comes to uh, appealing or talking to uh, potential surrogates, surrogate mothers, you're also on a very level, uh, on, on a level playing field. You know, you present your case, you show people what you want. Just just be genuine, be authentic uh, with with uh, with potential surrogates, and then um, I think you can you can find a match easily with Nathan's help for sure. For me, being at twenty four week is a huge milestone because uh, first of all, I'm I am very I'm more of a bottle uh, you know bottle half empty guy, so um, I. To be honest, I didn't share this news with my, with my family until we find out that until the pregnancy was confirmed later on, uh, and um, and even till this day, you know, I talk to the, the the part of the reason I talk to Laura every day is because I want to know the well being of the baby because I want to know the well being of Laura. I want to know if everyone's healthy. Are we, you know, uh, is is uh, what 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 are the things that could potentially go wrong? And then just just you know just focus on solving these problems and issues. There's always issues. There's always problems like in terms of uh, uh, where the child is being uh, being born, in terms of the legality of it, the paperwork. Um, so um, I guess all in all, I'm beyond thrilled that we are at the 24 week mark. I wish there are more there there are more surrogates there. <laughs> um, I guess I as for the, uh, you know for just just for all the people I know, there are a lot of intended parents here in Toronto or um, you know in the in the in the gay community. So. 
Um, and um, I also know there's a lot of genuine, truly altruistic women out there who want to help people that cannot uh, carry uh, carry their child. So, uh, so yeah, it's a great service. Um, the prof fertility is uh, providing. Okay, what's the big <clears throat> biggest dream for my daughter? I don't know. I haven't thought about it to be honest. I think I just want her to be happy, and then uh, potentially, uh, you know, um, I guess uh, having Laura being part of her life is important to me. I really haven't thought about you know uh, the details uh, as to you know because uh, I have crazy friends that are like I'm gonna send my daughter to you know to uh, to dance class dance lessons on the weekends and then you know learning French on um, Monday Wednesday Friday I don't have I never thought about any of these realistic issues I guess I'm just happy that she's healthy I'm just happy that Laura's happy I'm just happy that you know we are this unconventional family with uh, with Laura almost so Maybe Disneyland. I don't know. I never been, so it'll be good to go.